Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to the Siege of Ethne, and we're going to be going for another rank 1 clear. This time, I have really optimized my clear. We're going to use the best units I personally have available, and we're going to get a super optimized rank 1 clear relatively quickly. It's going to be about a 12 or 13 turn clear. This is the team we're going to use, and I do have a turn chart this time. Because I've optimized this clear so much, um, and it's not that long because it's relatively quick, I'm going to have a turn chart in the comments for you. I'll show the gear at the end, etc. Now that being said, this is for those of you that have very powerful gear and units, because it is kind of tightly tuned, because we're going for like a sort of a speed clear. So if you can't copy this clear, I do still plan to make more that aren't quite so extreme in the future. So turn one, Fiend of the Return will imbue the party and double bolt him. Rain every turn, Pulverizing Force. Ibarra in the base form is going to do Wish and both the killers. 2B in the shift form, True Charge, Avoid, and the human killer. Elena in the base form is going to do Cover. Sanctuary and Shelga. And Rick in the shift form, Luminous, Radiant, and Determined to Protect. And the boss has mitigation for turn one and turn two, so this is going to be basically no damage turns. The real damage begins happening on turn three. So we're covering with Elena, we're wearing Paralyze Immunity on the party, no big deal. We don't really care about the Imperils, we just ignore them. Okay, so this turn we're going to use the Esper Field with Fina. Wait for the autocasting to finish. Wait for the autocasting, and then we're going to use Rain to triple bolting again. And then the rest of the party, on turn two, will do the LB. Shifted LB of Rikt, base of Elena, base of Ibarra, shifted of 2B. And we go ahead and chain all these up. So again, the boss does have mitigations here, so the damage will be very, very bad. But that's totally fine. We did 4%. It's not horrible. But now the mitigation is gone and we can start actually hurting the boss. Although our morale is not filled yet. So it still won't be that good. So some more attacks. No big deal. Okay. This turn we're going to go ahead and use Fina's SLB. If yours is only EX2, then do the regular LB. Um, but, alright. Let's go ahead and SLB you. Wait for the auto casting so Rain can do his reload. There we go. Now Rick's going to go to the base form, and we're going to do Light from Within for the Killers and Double Bolting. We're going to use R40 on 2B to fill her LB gauge in the base form. Ibarra. Now Ibarra in the Shift form is going to do it this way. We're going to do Triple. We're going to do Absolute Bolting and then her Bolting Focus while Elena does the same thing. So Elena, Absolute and Double Bolting in the base form. So let's go ahead and chain this up, <clears throat> deal a little bit of damage, not a whole lot because the morale wasn't filled, we weren't using LBs, etc, etc. But there we go, we're 89%. Now the morale is filled, now it's turn 4, now we're going to start dealing real damage on this fight. So we're going to do a baby burst on turn 4. This is not going to be our big burst, but it actually may still damage cap, um, but we're going to be doing a much bigger burst later in the fight. Okay, so this turn, wait for the autocasting to finish, we love autocasting. We're going to use Fairy Rune on Rain. That's Ihana's STMR. If you don't own that, just skip that step. It's only a single killer on one person. So Rikt is going to base form LB. Rain is going to triple bolt him. Shifted LB Ibarra, base LB 2B. Now we're going to Brave Shift Elena this turn, but don't use her Limit Burst. We're going to do just triple bolting. Don't use Beetlejuice either. So just Pollux's Blade three times. And we're going to go ahead and chain all this up. Now we don't want to actually push the 70% threshold. We want to get as close as we can to 70 without going over. 73 is fine. So we did 3 billion damage on a non-burst turn. That wasn't even the real burst, but we're going to be doing way better later in the fight. Okay, now it's time to push the threshold. So before we do that, back to the base form with Elena, where we're going to refresh cover. We're going to do her resist cooldown and then refresh Shelga. We're going to have 2B, triple R40 to refill LB gauge. We're going to have Ibarra, triple bolting to refill LB gauge. I'm sorry, no. Ibarra is going to absolute and double bolting. And then Rikt in the shift form is going to also absolute and double bolting. So absolute and double bolting. 
Fina on this turn is going to re-imbue the party. We're going to use Delightful Glow for the killers, and then we can just use Protect, and then Rain will triple bolt him. So this is going to push the boss into phase two this turn. Which, so we got to get the boss below 70, which should be pretty simple to do. We're going to get to about 64, 65. 64, perfect, okay. Now we're in phase two, so we're going to get... Now, again, the boss has mitigation for two more turns, so we can't really deal much damage right now. We're going to be doing just setup for a moment, but we're going to be doing our biggest burst on turn eight. So Fina can SLB, wait for rain. Come on, rain, autocast. Triple, triple bolting rain. Now Rick on this turn is going to do Radiant Protection, Luminous Burst, and then his bolting skill. Ibarra will do the base form LB. Elena, base form LB, and 2B, shifted LB. So we're gonna, we're, we are gonna try to deal some damage. The boss does have mitigation, but um, we'll do the best we can. So we're gonna click Rick first, wait just a second, then chain the rest. And there we go, a little bit of damage through the mitigation. Okay, and by the way, we didn't do Mirage yet. You might be wondering about that. The first turn after the Threshold in Phase 2 is not a physical turn. We do not need Mirage yet. So, there we go. But now we need Mirage for this turn. Yeah, n n n now that I know the boss's exact attack pattern, it made it much easier to optimize this fight. So, we're going to use Fina to Fairy Killer on 2B to get ready for a burst. 2B is going to triple in the shift form. We're gonna true charge, we're gonna avoid for the Mirage, and Supreme support to fill her LB gauge as well as 150 amp her. Rick in the base form is going to leading light for the 180 amp, leading legend for the big weapon in perils, and then we're gonna refresh light from within. Flaring rain with his triple bolt, that's all he ever does. Uh, Ibarra on this turn is going to do um, both the killers, and then we're going to do her Magnus to fill her LB and focus her for the burst turn. Uh, and then Elena on this turn is going to go to the shift form, because this turn is not really a powerful magic turn. So shift form, and now we're going to get her ready for bursting as well with Grace of Prussian, Pollux's Blade, and Judgment of Beetlejuice. And we'll try to sort of chain Rain and Elena. It's not going to work out super great. But um, the boss still has mitigation anyway, so really, who cares? Okay, there we go. Some attacks, no big deal. Okay, now it is time to burst on the boss. But before we do that, we're going to again use Fairy Killer on Flaring Rain. Okay, wait for the auto casting. Okay, we're done. Um, so now Rain is going to reload. We're going to use Rick's base form LB. We're going to use um, Ibarra's shifted LB. And this is going to be the biggest burst of the fight for us. We're going to do the damage cap and more. Uh, 2B is going to go to the base form and LB. And we're going to do the shifted LB of Elena. And yep, we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and chain this up. Now this could do anywhere from 3.5 to 4.3, etc. Depending on variance. Um, you know, if we get a big flashy show off clear, great. If not, that's okay. Let's see what kind of damage we get, we get right here. But this is going to be our damage cap as we push the boss as far as we possibly can. And we did 4.0. I've done 4.3 in a test run. So definitely um, can do more, but there we go. Now, we're going to get set up to burst again. We don't want to push the boss into the next phase on this turn. So because we did a relatively decent burst that turn, we're kind of close to 30. We don't want to go over 30, though. So what we're going to do, we're going to use um, Fina to triple. We're going to imbue and then just double bolting. It doesn't really matter what we do. Um, let's see. Rick is going to... Let's go ahead and use 2B first. We need to R43 times to fill her LB gauge. And we're going to intentionally not chain a lot of this because we don't want to push the boss to 30%. And some of these are like tag chaining like 2B. That's fine. Um, we do want to push close to 30 though. So Elena in the base form. Nope, I'm sorry, not in the base form, in the shift form. And the shift form is going to do... I'm just realizing a small problem. 
Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, we're gonna do absolute and double bolting in the in the shift form. We're gonna do absolute and double bolting. Let's see. Ibarra is going to do in the shift form double bolting and focus. Rain will triple bolt him. And we're gonna have Rick to get set up for a big burst. He's gonna to go to the shift form and we're going to absolute mirror his hope and trusted amplify and then determine to protect. Now, if I chained all these, we would definitely push the threshold. So we're going to just do this a little bit and like sort of chain, but not really. We're gonna do this. And I'm intentionally only chaining a little bit. We can get close to 30. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. We didn't go over. If you did go over, you might want to reset the app and try again. Um, but there we go. So, um, oh, the mana drain and all that. That's fine. Uh, so the we had Mirage remaining from 2B. 2B on turn 7 did a 4-stack Mirage, and we still had stacks left to go. So this turn, we'll go ahead and do... Um, no, we actually don't need Resurging Will yet. We're going to do that in a second. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the SLB of Fina. Um, we're going to have Rain triple bolting. We're going to have Rick do the shifted LB this turn, not the base LB. Um, Ibarra is going to do her shifted LB. We're going to do the base LB of Elena because we need, we need, we need um, the frames and all to work out right. And then we're going to do the shifted LB of two bays. So this is not going to be the biggest burst, but we're going to try to push as far as we can into the um, the phase. Now let me look for one second. Hold on. Can I do better than this? Let's see. Triple, triple bolting, bolting, absolute, absolute, shifted, no, we need to do the base form of Ibarra. Yeah, I actually have the wrong the wrong thing listed there. Yeah, we're going to do the base form of Ibarra. Bolting, bolting. No, you know what? We're going to do... Yeah, the shifted of Ibarra and the shifted of Elena, actually. No, we want the... No, this is fine. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very scattered right now. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so we're going to do this. Now, we are going to guts. We are not covering the threshold. We're going to take a ton of damage, but the whole party has guts. So we don't care. 2.9. And here comes the AoE attack. Guts on the party. No problem. Who cares about covering? Just guts the threshold attack. Okay, now... Fina is going to need to Guts a second time. So now we're going to use the Threshold Healing skill to get Fina to return above 30% health so she can Guts again on this turn. So turn 11. What we're going to do now, Fina is going to Fairy Rune on Rain. Now the boss has Mitigation again, but now Rick is going to deal with it. So Rick is going to Buff Remove, Moment of Weakness, Luminous Burst, and then Bolting Strike. Rain is going to triple bolt him. And we're going to get out of Phase 3 quickly. Now we need Mirage this turn. So we're going to use Triple triple Mirage with um, with Ibarra. Because we, we just can't really use her to burst anymore. We're going to do R40 with 2B. And we don't really care about covering and all that anymore. And we're provoking with Fina. And then we're going to triple bolting with um, with Elena. So there we go. So we're going to click Rick first. Make sure we do weakness, luminous, and then bolting. Yeah, so we're going to click Rick first. Wait just a second for the buffs to go away. Then we're going to chain the rest and deal a little bit of damage. And if we like super variants, we could, we're not going to kill on this turn. It's going to be a turn 12 kill, kill. That's fine. So we're going to double Mirage this turn, and Fina's going to Guts yet again. There we go. Second Guts on Fina with the gear that we're using. Okay, so now we're going to finish off the boss. Turn 12 victory. So Fina will... Now Rick's killers have worn off at this point, so we're going to go ahead and give him a Fairy Killer from the item. Okay, so we're going to base form LB Rick. 
we're going to have rain triple bolting. Now we lost our killers as well, human and demon. So, so Ibarra will just do both the killers and Mirage. We're going to send her by herself this turn. Um, and if we don't kill the boss, there's going to be a double AOE physical only on this turn. And it would, um, and then a third single target physical that would kill Fina, but we wouldn't care. Uh, 2B is going to base form LB, and we're going to shift it LB with Elena. So let me make sure I'm doing all this right. So triple bolting, triple bolting, absolute. Yep, we're good. And we go ahead and chain it up. And that should be the end of the boss. And if not, again, we'll kill our ne we'll kill him next turn. But it should be. Yeah, turn 12 victory. And again, all the boss does this turn on turn 12 with this turn chart is the boss would do a double AOE physical. We miraged it because of, because of Ibarra. And then the boss would have done a single target physical that would have finished off Fina the return for good. And that would have let us finish off the boss on turn 13, no problem. Just, you know, chain, LB, et cetera, et cetera. And there it is, perfect score, rank one with 12 turns or less. And here is the damage breakdown. So rain, that consistent damage is just so good on this fight. Ricked 4.4, 2B 4.6 because we did let her burst more often. Um, Ibarra 3.5 and then Elena 1.7. So because we know the turn chart now, I'm able to um, really optimize the clear. And give me my tickets, I'm tired of this fight. Anyway, so I will go ahead and show you the gear and all, and I'll have the turn chart in the comments, but that was more of a high-end clear for those of you that have all the good units and want a nice, quick clear. So here's the party. The only espers that are required are that Bayamit is on return Fina. So the gear, Elena is our leader, and she is in the base form, 200 or better ice resist. Uh, and the whole party is paralyze immune. Paralyze immunity is important. Um, no one needs light resist at all. Not a single person. Um, here's the gear, a little bit of mana reduction, a little bit of LB fill, uh, paralyzed immunity, and a um, good card. Shift form is damage. Um, does still need paralyzed immunity. Um, a little ice resist can be helpful. Honestly, it's not that important because she's only in the shift form every now and then. And here we go. So paralyzed immunity is very important. So paralyzed immunity, LB damage versus all the races. And I think she was at max everything. She was. Okay, next is 2B. Both forms geared identical. There we go. Uh, pure Lotus for the mana regen. Other than that, LB damage versus the combo. And there it is. And I think she's maxed on everything. Max human. Yep, maxed on everything. And there it is. Uh, Ibarra, I think is geared the same in both forms. She is. So LB damage versus the combo. Paralyze immune. No one needs resistances, by the way, except for the, the tank. Uh... There we go, and um, a card. And she is, I think, maxed on everything. Maxed, maxed, and maxed, yep. Uh, Ricked in both forms, I think are geared identical. He is, so he is maxed on everything. Paralyzed immune, he's getting that from Odin, by the way. The Odin Esper is where he's getting his paralyzed immunity from. Either Odin or Kokorayu, one of them. Um, a good card, and of course, he's maxed on everything. It's his Clash of Wills. Fina the Return, we'll come back to her. Rain is getting paralyzed immunity from an Esper. Other than that, I gave him the best gear because he does damage every single turn, so it goes further on him. Uh, maxed on everything. Oh, he's getting paralyzed immunity from Winged Heart. Never mind. A little bit of mana regen, and yeah, he's maxed on everything. 18.8 thousand attack power. That is pretty good. And then Fina the Return. This is a little bit harder to build. She's on the Bayamit Esper. She's got... A card for Guts, so we're getting Guts from a card. You can also use things like Jack's card, etc. Um, and then she's got Passive Provoke. You don't need Evasion. No Evasion required. Passive Provoke, some Bayamut Synergy, and two sources of Guts. Here's our second source. She also needs uh, Death Immunity, a little bit of Mana Regen, and we gave her the Rod for extra morale. If you can't fit this build, just skip the Celestite Rod. Morale is very easy in this party. And if you own it, Fairy Killer from the Meiji Scrim. That's Ihana's STMR. And there's the clear. 12 turns or less. Um, pretty good. Relatively smooth. Uh, a little risky every now and then. Oh, by the way, the whole party needs guts as well. But Rain, Ricked, Ibarra, 2B, and Elena all have guts naturally. So the, the, only, the only one that needs guts from gear is your Provoker, Fina. And she needs double guts. And a way to heal above the guts threshold, which we use the morale bar to do. Anyway, there it is. See you in a bit for cheaper clears later.